Hi everyone, it's Laurie. I uh, recently received an order that I placed with Kim's Tarts. This is the first time that I've ordered from her, um, but I've always heard a lot of great things about her tarts, so I finally went ahead and did it. Um, so I'll show you everything that I got. I'm not going to spend much time on the scents because I've really only tried out a few of them so far. And I'll wait to do that in um, some other videos. So, I got 7-Up Pound Cake. And this is one that I tried um, yesterday, actually. Um, I really like the smell of this cold. It's very bright and zesty. Um, I guess from that, that lemon-lime scent that you get with 7-Up. Um... There's not much, I guess there's a creaminess to it that makes it a pound cake, but uh, when it's melting, it's actually more, I guess, 7-Up, and I enjoyed it, but after a little while, I got kind of tired of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I would order this one again, but I did enjoy it. I tried, I got sugar corn pudding. And I tried this one yesterday as well. This was very nice. When I first heard sugar corn, pu corn pudding, I thought, oh, that sounds really, really disgusting. But um, I went ahead and decided to get it because I'd heard good things about it. Um, and I do like it. It's uh, just kind of a nice bread, bread type scent, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't really smell... Corn. I don't know how much corn is really supposed to be in here or part of the scent, but um, yeah, this is a nice one. I would uh, probably order this one again. Uh, I've got Amish friendship bread. This is another just kind of bread scent. Um, it was pretty interesting, uh, sweet. Just kind of a sweet bread with, I'm not really sure what what else is in there. When I'm smelling it now, I get kind of a sugary, I don't want to say berry, but it smells like there's something else in there that gives it, makes it more than just the bread scent. So it's nice. I'm not sure I would get it again, but I don't know. I'll see how I feel when I melt a few more. I got Grammy's Berry Griddle Cakes. I haven't tried this yet, but I think I'm really going to like this one. It's got that creamy berry scent um, that's just very delectable. So I'm excited about trying this one. I'll probably do that really soon. I got iced cinnamon rolls. Uh, this smells like your standard kind of cinnamon scent it's probably going to be really strong uh, I think I'm really going to like this one too they also had a cinnamon bun scent I think it was but um, I don't I don't know how much this is really going to differ from that I don't know maybe I'll try that one next time around I got um, pumpkin cornbread <clears throat> another one that I was kind of hesitant to get but after hearing some good things about it, I decided to go for it. This is, I think I'm going to like this one too. It's, um, not, yeah, another bread scent with some pumpkin. So, uh, but there's a little bit of something else in there. Like this kind of sweet, buttery scent maybe. I don't know. I got pumpkin marshmallow. This one, I'm, I really can't wait to see what this is like. When I smell this cold, it's, uh, it really smells like what you would think pumpkin, a pumpkin and marshmallow combination smell like. You can definitely smell the marshmallow like those, you know, the Jet Puff marshmallows that you buy at the grocery store. That's definitely in this along with um, like a pumpkin pie filling, like a canned pumpkin filling maybe, something like that. Um, so it's very, very unique, and I'm, um, I'm really anticipating trying this one out. 
I got caramel apple cheesecake, which I don't know. It smells a little bit, a little bit strange. We'll see about this one. I got pancakes and syrup. I don't know if I really get a pancake scent from this, but there's some some syrup in there. Not really a maple syrup, I don't think. I don't know. But just kind of a sweet, sugary, sugary syrup. I got kettle corn. Um, this one kind of smells like the um, these the Better Homes and Gardens wax cubes that you can get at Walmart. They had a country kettle corn scent or something like that um, last fall that I really, really love. Um, I stocked up on that. And this one kind of smells like that, but there's some... It, I'm, I'm smelling like a, a lemon or some kind of citrus in here. I don't know what that is. Anyway... Pink sugar. Mm, this is kind of a sweet non bakery type scent. It smells like there's some citrus. This is pink sugar cookie, which is, I guess, pink sugar with just like a kind of bakery note. I think I'm going to like this one. It's really bright. Um, sometimes I really get in the mood for um, a bakery scent that's not heavy, with a lot of cinnamon, um, and it seems to be there's not too many of those. Um, so I'm like always looking for a good kind of bright bakery scent, and I think that'll be just what I'm looking for. Strawberry jam. This is really strange when I smell it through here. I'm I don't know if maybe it's some of the other scents that are kind of influencing the way this smells, but because I have them still all in, in the box that they were shipped in. Um, I get jam, but not like right away. There's something, I want to say maybe almost bready when I smell that, but I don't know. I think I like that. Orange caramel crumble. Another one I've heard a lot about, a lot of good things. Um, I was kind of tempted to get the hot orange Danish too. Some people said they smell similar. Some people say they're completely different. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll try that one next time. But yeah, definitely, definitely some orange, kind of like um, Yankees orange dreamsicle scent. Um, but I don't know. Maybe there's some caramel in there too. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. Mexican fried ice cream. I'm not really getting too much of a scent from this. Mm, kind of a... I don't know. Just kind of a generic... Buttery... Sugary scent. Coconut cream pie. I think I'm going to like this one too. I can really smell the coconut. I, know, I like coconut scents. Um, I was wanting one that was actually kind of a more of a bakery scent. So hopefully this will be that. I can smell, definitely smell some, some crust in there. Pistachio ice cream. Last year, I really fell in love with uh, Slatkin's Toasted Pistachio Delight or something like that. It's their the candles, the three candles that they came out with, um, my candle recipe, uh, that they came out with during or right before Christmas. Um, I really love Toasted Pistachio Delight, and I'm, I only have one, and I'm kicking myself for not picking up a few more. 
so I was kind of hoping that this would smell similar to that. And it kind of does definitely get that same pistachio note. Although this one had something, there's something about it that's not as good. Maybe a little bit artificial about this one. So, I hope that will be just like that scent. <clears throat> Iced lemon biscotti. Mm, this is kind of more just lemon, like a, I don't know, a really fake lemon scent. I don't know, I don't smell biscotti at all. I love biscotti and biscotti smells. If they really capture that true kind of almond um, or anise note. But this one I just get lemon. I got Honey Bunny. I don't really remember what this one was or why I wanted to get it. It says it's a Honey I Wash the Kids type. Um, but yeah, it kind of has a soapy, soapy smell. I guess maybe it's like a, a body wash for kids. I don't know. I got Creme Brulee. Um, this is kind of a, yeah, kind of sugary. I am getting a little bit of that brulee, that kind of burnt sugar scent from it now. Um, so that one might be good. I got monkey's breath or monkey breath, which is kind of that fake banana. I don't know why I keep trying out these banana scents. I know that they're probably going to smell fake and I'm probably not going to like them, but I just can't help it. Pineapple upside down cake. Oops. Um, I usually don't like pineapple scents, but I was kind of feeling in the mood for one and was wanting one that was kind of a bakery scent. I'd really just get pineapple from this. We'll see. And I got white chocolate macadamia nut cookie, which doesn't really smell like anything. Mmm. I don't know. I'll have to get back to you on that one. I'm not getting much from it. And she, oh, Pauline Pound Cake is another one that I ordered. And there's definitely a Pauline note to it. Um, so this one, this one I hope will be good. Well, I hope all of them will be good, but I'm looking forward to that one. Then she sent me uh, free samples of Indian Summer, which I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't know if it's supposed to be a food scent or what. I'm going to have to look this up to see exactly what's supposed to be in here because it's, I don't know. I just can't figure that one out. Nutmeg and Spice. If you've ever smelled uh, Slatkin's Creamy Nutmeg scent, that's exactly what this smells like. And I do like that scent, so I think I'm going to enjoy this. Strawberry white cake, which I was actually tempted to order, but I wanted other stuff more, so I didn't. But I think that'll be nice. It's a nice kind of sharp strawberry scent with some creaminess to it. And maple butter crunch. And smelling this one, I really wish that I had ordered the three pack of this because I love this. I think, I really think that I'm going to like this one a lot. There's definitely maple, um, a buttery maple scent with like some cake. So I'm really excited about Maple Butter Crunch. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think if you really like any of these or if you didn't like any of these. And um, I actually got a quite a few videos I think I'm going to do today. Um, I went to Yankee earlier, so I'm going to show you my uh, most recent haul from the semi-annual sale. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.